Good evening, everybody. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please get your cameras on and full names displayed. Let's start. Ada Susana Castres Mendoza. Not present. Ana Maria Chicón de Garcia. Not present. Carla Ivana Cabrera Serrano. Present. Thank you. Deborah Raquel Soto Martinez. Present. Thanks. Edson Andoni Guzmán Landa Verde. Not present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Thanks. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Thank you. Hector Eduardo López Varela. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir, for being here. Welcome back. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Thank you. Present. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Enet Amaya Herrera. Present, teacher. Who said present? Acá. Present. Where? Ah, there you are, there you are. <laughs> Catherine, <laughs> sorry. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Thank you. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes, not present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. Miren Carolina Muso Valdez. Present. Thanks. Daniel Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Rene. Not present. Rosina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Not present. Sabrina Mabela Tincastro. Present. Thanks. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank you. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Thanks. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Thank you. Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Thanks. Jocelyn Imel de Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. Uh, let me see. I see Ana Maria Chacón de Garcia. Ana Maria. Present. Thank you. Uh, let me see who else I see. I see Don Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Me, teacher. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Um, get your questions ready, sir. 10 to 10, 10 today, your turn. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hola, hola. 10 to 10, 10, all right. All right, anybody who just got here? Alguien que se acaba de meter, que no me ayude? Y que no he visto, that I haven't seen. Okay, let's get it started. Guys, what was yesterday's topic? Yesterday we just reviewed the last unit. Uh-huh. Sure. Reading and... Idioms part two. Idioms part two. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Idioms part two. Yeah, which is pretty much something we have already done. That's right. Um, What were the idioms you remember? Or what are the idioms you remember? Wiped out. Wiped wipe out. out. Uh huh. What's the meaning of wiped out? Very tired. Very tired. Correct. Um, what happens when you have a lot on your, a lot on your shoulders? To have a lot, on, a my lot on my plate. Yes. To so have a lot on one. My plate. Uh huh. On one. On my plate. Plate. Remember that <clears> one <throat> can be uh, replaced, right? Mm hmm. With what? Um, I dare correct or... that's right oh, no. um to relax the cake to set it down to set it down right to relax mm -hmm. um what about being patient hey be patient hunt hunger hunger no 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 hang, almost, almost. Hang, in hang in there hang in there hang in there hang in there all right hang in there hang um to survive what we do in our country uh, to keep uh, one's head to keep above the head water of, yeah uh, to keep one's head above water. water we are experts in this right 
All right, uh, to reduce, in this particular case, hours of work. Do it go back, back one hour? To scale oh. hours? To scale back one scale hour. Back one hours. Hours. Whenever you are very anxious, you can't stand anything. Stress out. Uh -huh. Stress out. Stressed. Stress out. Stress out. Stress out. Stress and out. what is the Ouch. verb that we normally use this with? Because stressed out is kind of like an adjective, right? They are uh, to be? To, to be. be. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I am stressed out. She is stressed out. I was stressed out yesterday, but I drank a few. Uh, uh, hot chocolate, you know, and I settled down. All right. I forgot. Sleep. Sleep one's mind. Sleep mind. Yep. To sleep one's mind. Now, let me show you something real quick here. Where's the group? Where's the group? Where's the group? Where is the group? Damn, how many people text me today? Just a second. Oh, you know what? I can look for it. G16. Here it is. Okay, so I want a volunteer to read, please. I need a volunteer to read. This is um, Fernando's example, I think. Right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Fernando, go ahead and read your example. Okay. Uh... Ahí creo que, quiero ver, me dijo de que cambiar al was, que era por what, creo. Uh, don't worry, read it like that and I will be changing it. I'm, okay. I'm going to correct it. Uh, yeah. Okay. The, the last days I was to keep my head above water because I have a lot of my plates. Okay. Uh, I am white out. I want to settle down, but I am stressed out. Okay. However, I'm going to, aquí me comí el, el am, después right. de however, I am going to hang in there and I know that when I will finish all my, all my tasks, I'm going to scale my hour for getting more time with my family. Nice, good. Here, I'm fixing it as you can, uh, as, as you can see it. Mm -hmm. All right, I have been changing here. Um, I was talking to someone today and this person told me I have five years in the call center industry, something like that. And I mentioned that it's going to be, I have been working, he estado trabajando. This is not going to be today's topic, but the context requires this. Okay? Mm -hmm. So it, it is like present perfect, mm -hmm. but you always have, have been plus ing. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. This, is another structure that we will cover here. So what I want you to see is that I have been, give me a second, let me change this, just for you to have an idea on what a paragraph should look like. I have been keeping my head above water. You see? What you're doing here is that you are conjugating the verb. Están conjugando el verbo en contexto, ya? Por esa estructura. Pero si fuera pasado, Van a conjugar esto en el kept. Ok. So, siempre van a jugar con el verbo. Because I have a lot of my plate. This is the other idiom. All right. How do we say tuve mucho que hacer o estuve muy ocupado? How do we say that? 
I have. I had. Muy bien. I had. Because have is the main verb. Voy a tener mucho que hacer. Mañana. <laughs> I will have a little. I'll. I will have. Mm -hmm. That's I right. Have. I will have a little. I am wiped out. Here is how you use the other one. Remember that you're going to use it with the verb to be. Pay attention because I'm explaining how to use it. Um, voy a estar cansado. I'm going to wait, wait out. I am going to be, to be. Ah, wiped out. Okay. Remember that you use the verb to be with this one. Um, okay. okay. Estaba cansado. I was. I was. Uh -huh. um, wiped I out. Wiped out. Out. So, se fijan que esto no cambia porque es un adjetivo, ¿no? Lo estamos ocupando para describir cómo estamos. Mm -hmm. Y el verbo que vamos a conjugar es to be. All right. Another one. I want to settle down. Settle down, we're going to use it in the complement. So, here, you can change the verb. Necesito calmarme. I need, I need, to, I need to settle down, ¿verdad? No me yeah. calmé nunca. I don't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, didn't want. I didn't to. settle, settle down. down. Settle down, verdad. Uh -huh. Aquí didn't. cambiamos esto. So my point is this, guys. Settle down generalmente se ocupa con, como complemento, pero también settle es un verbo. Mm -hmm. So si tuviésemos que decir me, me estoy portando bien o me estoy asentando, como dijéramos, I'm sitting. I am settling down. It is a regular verb. También va con I am en este mm. caso. Um, yo me establecí. I settled down. I settled down en pasado. Me voy a establecer. I will settle down. I will settle down. I will settle down. That's right. Me he establecido, present perfect. I have, I have, uh, settled, I have settled down. down. Uh -huh. I have settled down, correct. So, ven como no importa el tiempo gramatical, lo que tengo que hacer es conjugar el verbo. Next one, stressed out. This is the other one. What do we use it with? ¿Con qué lo ocupamos? To be. What verb to be? The same thing. Um, estoy muy estresado. I am stressed out. Estaba estresado. I was, I was, I was stressed, out. stressed out. That's right. Me estoy estresando. Mm, I, stressing. I'm stressing out. Huh? I am getting, muy bien. I am I'm getting, getting stressed uh -huh. out. Stressed out. Si lo quieren ah. decir, ¿qué está pasando? Vamos a ocupar get. Right. Right. Okay. I, me estresé. No es, perdón, pongan la atención a esto. No es estaba estresado. Me estresé. I got stressed out. I got stressed out. So, este lo pueden ocupar con el verbo get. Okay. Mm. Okay. Para que vayan viendo el uso. No es lo mismo solo verlos así que ya cambiarlos. Um, next one. Hang in there. Hang in there, guys. You can use it as a verb. This one. Yo soporté. Mm. What is the past of hang? Hang. Come on. You, you all have internet. I know that for sure. What's the past of hang? If you don't know it, Google it. And you tell me if it's regular or irregular. Oh, home. Oh, uh, irregular. Correct. Irregular verb. Irre so, yo home. aguanté o yo tuve home. paciente, paciencia. Um, I am in there. Yo voy a aguantar. I will hang there. I will hang. Like hang this. there. Con este mismo. Exactly. So, también lo pueden ocupar. You can also use it as a phrase. Voy a aguantar. 
I'm going to hang in there. Um, necesito aguantar. I need to, I need to, to hang in there. Correct. Um, tengo que aguantar. I have to hang in there. Very good. Quiero aguantar. Ya, como ya no puede, I, want I want to hang in there. Very good. So uh, here you can see the difference if you use it as a regular, as the verb itself, si juegan con el verbo, or if you need it in the complement. Si lo necesitan en el complemento. Um, same with this. Scale my hours. Necesito uh, reducir uh, más uh, mis horas. I need, I need to scale my hours. I need to scale my hours. Quiero reducir mis horas. I want to scale my hours. hours. Uh -huh. hours. Uh -huh. Voy a reducir mis horas. Like a verb. I'm, I'm, I'm going to scale my hours. I'm going to scale my hours. Um, Reduje mis horas in past. This is a regular verb. I scaled my hours. I scaled my hours. So guys, this is pretty much, um, a lot of people have issues on how to use them, right? No es lo mismo solo verlo. Ay, que chivo, I am I stressed out, pero no les dicen cómo. Esto es cómo se ocupan. Muchos los pueden ocupar en complemento, pero si es un verbo, también lo pueden ocupar. Ocupan nada más el verbo y lo demás prácticamente no cambia. A menos que estén ocupando my, your, etc. With this, is there any questions? Because you're going to do it right now. Ahora van ustedes. Do you have any questions? Uh -huh. Speak now or be quiet forever. No questions? Um, teacher, uh, huh? teacher. Tell me, tell me. Uh, I I didn't understand the first sentence. I have been keeping. Oh, um, okay. Don't worry about it. I don't want to get into present perfect continuous right now. But this is like he estado plus ing. Yo he estado bailando. I have been dan dan dancing. I have, I have been dancing. He estado estudiando. I have been, I have been studying. I have, I have been studying. He estado trabajando mucho. I have, I have been working, working a lot. A lot of... Muy bien. Ahí está. Ya ven que no es necesario meterse en la gran explicación mientras ustedes entienden la estructura, la base en la cual se trabaja. Ya después todo lo demás viene para abajo. Este, este tema va, viene más adelante. Es present perfect continuous. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. But that's a good question, though, because I'm ex, uh, exposing you to something else. So, my little friends, what we're going to do right now is you're going to go to the breakout rooms and you're going to do something like you guys did yesterday. I want you to pay attention on how you use it. And I want to reply something like that. Quiero que me hagan algo como eso. Exactamente. Right? Métanle un poquito. Ya ven que pueden pasar de una idea a la otra sin tanto adorno. ¿Ya? Um, y traten de ocupar todas las que vimos ayer en un párrafo de esos por grupo. So, I'm going to give you um, 10 minutes and then we're going to read it. All of you guys are going to read it. Todos lo van a leer. Are there any questions? Um... Um, ¿Vamos a hacer nuevos ejemplos o con los ejemplos que hicimos ayer? Nuevos, porque los voy a poner a trabajar con gente diferente. Lo, lo que es un tira de grupo, ese es el grupo que le toca. Ok. Ok. So, 10 minutes, go ahead and create one more and try to use all of the idioms we covered yesterday. Si pueden, alguien compártalo y subrayen todos los idioms, así como yo lo hice, para que sea más claro de identificar. All right, go to the breakout rooms, guys, and I wish you the best. You can do this. You got 10 minutes. See you at 8.30. Um, Give me a second. This thing is taking too long. One moment, please. Okay. Go for it, guys. See you back in 10 minutes. Thank you. 
Carmen, si que no, no escuché muy bien. No escuché muy bien. Tenemos que hacer un párrafo usando eh, los idioms de ejemplo que tenemos. Entonces puede ser una... Como, un, como que tú cuentas algo y tú utilizas los idioms. Por ejemplo, yo ayer hice uno sencillo. Y no sé si tú lo hiciste con el grupo que trabajaste. Sí. Entonces, solo es volver a hacer el mismo trabajo último de ayer, hacer un párrafo donde se puedan utilizar los sitios que tenemos de ejemplo. Está bien. Gracias. Comenzamos. ¿Cuál va a ser el tema? ¿Con, cuánto, con quiénes estamos? Ah. Mm. Entonces, entonces, Miguel, ¿cuál es el tema? Keep track of time and everybody participate, okay? Yo trabajo. Okay. Just give me a moment. Um, I don't know why I cannot understand my. Um, okay, um, what, what topic are we going to talk about? Okay. Uh, any topic? Uh, um, I think that should be related to work or something like that. So, we can talk about overtime or something like that because we can use the the let me check we can use escalate hours scale hours i'm sorry and we can also use okay. um no hay que dar con el sol y normalmente dónde se conecta la PC en ambos pero ya yeah, I, I saw two Carlas Ivanias okay <laughs> yeah okay all right voy a salir de... okay thank you I, I just double check because I, I didn't want Jocelyn to be alone I don't know if if you were here no. or not All right, keep it up. You got six minutes, guys. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. No sé si podemos decir, por ejemplo. Aparte que es también estresado, podemos agregar. I am going out. I am very tired. I have been out. I have been Como dice Entonces eh, bueno y, y que también es, yeah. entonces a, está, está tired y estresado, ¿verdad? Y Ajá. estresado antes de que lo que yo he puesto y ah. eh, Necesita, eh, necesita después reducir sus horas de trabajo. ¿va? Pero vamos a ver. Ah, sí. wipe out. En, en, en my show. Pero ¿cómo lo, ¿cómo lo agregamos después del wait, wait out? Wait down. Eh, vaya. Hay video wait out en... en I... Is it going to work? Estoy agotado, entre otras, tengo mucho play porque no tengo trabajo. No llego a trabajar. Aquí, teacher, tengo una consulta. Ah. Eh, como aquí tenía make me feel, tu stress out, está bien que ponga tu stress out, porque este es un verbo, no digo. Um, no, no, en este caso, you need to eliminate too. 
Solo así, fin mm -hmm. estresado. Fin estresado. And bueno, be, this makes, this makes me feel. Ok, makes. Mm -hmm. porque, ah, porque es un it. Ajá. Uh -huh. Lo que me está haciendo sentir. Right. Makes me feel, me hace sentir estresado. Okay. A ver, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más? Ocupemos eh, otra. Uh -huh. Y tengo, y tengo que ser paciente. O tengo que tener paciencia. No, primero, eh, but, voy a... Sometimes. Sí, es que lo que pasa es que si no lo compartís, no te vamos a poder ayudar porque no, 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 no vemos el contexto desde el principio, ¿me entendés? Para agregar los, los otros idioms. Va a dejar ver si lo puedo escribir acá. Lo voy a escribir en el chat. Ok. 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 To keep my head above water. Puchica, la novela no salió. <risa> Above water. Ay, anda mala la gripe. Vale. Y así te estaba escuchando. Coralillo. Vaya. Okay. Vaya. 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 Y very anxious, stressed out. Um, como como algo así que el que el ese que es fin de mes o algo así y que. Ajá. Que te va a reducir. Ajá. Tú es que va a O pongamos this situation o me pones me pones stressed out espérame Ajá. esta Makes situación mm. remember that is get with a stress out uh, get, get stressed and this this situation no I oh, como sería de situación. Uh, últimamente estoy trabajando mucho, no sé, y necesito reducir la orden de trabajo porque esta, te, esta situación me mantiene estresada. No sé. pues, okay. Entonces, pero últimamente es. Situation I get stressed. Situation. Ajá. Eso está. But this situation I get. Stressed out. Got me. Got, got me. me. Stressed out. I got. This situation got me stressed out. Uh, got me. I have a question that I think I know the answer. Did you finish? Uh, no, not yet. yet. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Now, let me tell you something, guys. Yes. Um... With my own students, I don't know, this is not to, to add more pressure on you, but with my own students, I only give them one minute to use it. Les doy nada más un minuto para que me hagan todo esto. But don't worry, I have my own rhythm. Yo tengo mi propio ritmo y yo sí soco la pita. Aquí tengo que okay. tener mis, you know, I tengo que tener tacto, ¿verdad? So I'm going to give you, I, I cannot stay too much in this. I'm going to give you five more minutes, just five more, no more, for you to wrap it up. Wrap it up. Okay. Terminar. Okay. 
So go back, five more. I know you can do your best. All right? Mm -hmm. Go back. Okay, thank you. Five. Hector, who's your group? Because I got you out. Hector? Mm, okay. Um, give me a second. I think I remember. Yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries. I understand that the internet is not so good right now. Hector, I can't remember either. So let me send you to a group of three people, okay? Okay, go for it, sir. Catherine, did you get the invite? Lo que había dicho, I, que sería, I think that I need to calm down. I and, think that I need. Uh -huh. I, I think, think that that I, I need to settle down. No. Ajá, uh -huh, settle down. Yeah, or mm -hmm. calm down. And the end, I hang in there or, or and be patient with my job, for example. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like I mm -hmm. can can in there, no? And in there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Yo estoy usando la otra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yo había pensado en and and I uh, and I I no lo puedo decir, pero en I will. <laughs> no me cuesta decir en la contracción. <laughs> I'll hey, I'll hang in there. I'll hang in there. Oh. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll de la L I'll, de la parte de arriba de la L caiga la la H I'll hang in there I'll hang in there there you I'll go hang. good job you see uh -huh. like this I hang in there okay eh, that I am ay, an accounting eso puedo ponerle vaya ajá eso sería the situation got me stressed out Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sleep mine, but but I but I sleep one's mind that I am counting it. It slipped my mind. Se me olvidó. Also it. it. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't. But it sleep it one's it, mind. It is it. It slipped my mind. Uh huh. It slipped my ah. Yeah. It is lit my mind. Nobody is going to help me. They cannot, um, I don't know if it should be it, but I can use I. Hello, teacher. What, what do you have? <laughs> can I help you with something, guys? Yeah, I, I, just, I just want to confirm if yeah, it's correct to say um, sometimes I'm stressed out that I that I slip my mind to request to to reduce my work work hours. Yeah, my work hour. It's correct. Just that remember yeah. to use it. It slipped my mind. Okay, for that reason, I I was not sure if yeah. should be slip my mind or should be it slip okay. my mind. That's good. Make sure you all have the same, guys. Compare it. Uh, it, uh, right? It. Yes, it slipped my mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Pero que sí, solo sea así. Eh, teacher, tengo una duda. <laughs> One, two, en esta parte. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh -huh. Aquí. Eh, yo le puse, bueno, pusimos, ¿verdad? Because my coworker didn't get to work the last days and his task aquí was assigned. Where? Está bien. Where, verdad? Yeah. Pero no estamos con, no tenemos dos, dos verbos conjugados acá. No. Mm. Because assign. Ah, este, es, no, este es noun, verdad? Este sería el noun. Este es el verbo y este sería el noun. Um, asignado. Este asignado, exactly. Asignado. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. All right. Good job. I think you're one short. I think you're missing one. Good job. You need a good job. You have uh -huh. to hang hanging hanging there. Hanging there. Hanging yes, there. El mismo. Eh, because hanging hanging como se pronuncia hanging there. Hanging there. Ahí no. en la Hanging there, I usually take some take it more more time. Más tiempo. More time. Take, take, uh, to find a good job. To find a good job. Hello. How are you doing guys? I'm ready. Okay. No. No. Okay, now it's on. Hi, teacher. You finished? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. And no, 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 no. Okay, you got sixty seconds. Yes. This is an awkward silence. Awkward is uh, extraño, incómodo. Awkward silence. Okay. Yeah, I told you. Awkward silence. Hello there. <clears throat> Give me a second. All right. Did you guys finish this time? Yeah. Yeah. So so. Okay. Good. Yeah. Hey, I. Guys, what's going on? This, this is like a pandemic. I almost don't see your faces anymore. I got like ten people without a camera. <clears throat> Come on, require. It's not that I want to see your pretty faces. I just we just gotta comply with the support requirement. Okay, group number one: Ana Maria, Fatima, Miguel, and Rina. Can you share it so we can see it? Okay. Miguel. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I had a bad day. I'm wiped out. I have to make inventory and I have to allot on my place and I'm stressed, stressed out because the products don't add up. I think that I need to calm down and, and hang in there with my job. Uh, I will talk to my boss and ask him to scale back one hour. I'm not sleeping well. I think that at why digamos, pero lo voy a terminar. Why um to uh -huh. one uh, to sleep one's mind. I don't know. Okay, all right. Uh, with the last good job, I liked it. You know, the the context is great. I understand the idea. The last one is it slipped my mind. Oh, it was with it, remember, it slipped my mind, se me va a olvidar, yeah. it will slip my mind, se me olvidó otra vez, it slipped my mind again. Good job. Um, one of you guys, just one of you, take a picture and send it to the group, please. Okay. All right, okay. good job. Yeah, I'm going to fix little details that way. Carla, Catherine, and William, if you can, share the screen. If not, just read it, please. Janet, William, Catherine. 
Okay, um, I'm wipe wipe out, wipe, wipe out, because I had a soccer game, and now I have a lot of on my plate. I need to settle down and and hang in there. Uh, this day has been difficult. I have tried to keep to keep my head above water. So this situation got me stressed out. Recently, I need to scale back my hours because because of that, it has left my mind my mind and my father's birthday. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Very good, very good. Like it. Take a picture. Send it to the group. Excellent. Let's go with room. Three, Isela, Miriam, Roberto, and Sabrina. Again, if you can share the screen, go. If not, just share. Hello. Who would you like? Who will would like to to read? Guys. You, Isela. Okay. Just give me a moment. Okay, um, let me check. Okay, actually I have been working OT hours and I'm really wiped out. And I have a lot on my plate and I know that I need to set it down and scale back my OT hour. However, um, sometimes I'm stressed out that I, that it that it slipped my mind to request to reduce my uh, work hours. For the moment, I think that I'm going to I'm going to hang in there. Okay, that's it, teacher. Good job. Well done. I, I don't see anything to double check, so that means good job. Picture to the group. Just one of the okay. group. Carlos, Fernando, and Sandra, please. Okay. Well, uh, <clears throat> I'm white out. Uh, in my work, I have a lot on my plate because my coworker, my coworker didn't get to work the last days, and his tasks were assigned to me. This make me feel, makes me feel stressed out. But I'm going to settle down because this will help to me to scale my hour the next month. Meanwhile, I want to I, I want just keep my head above water and hang in there. Okay, good job. Um, there are a lot of things, guys. Uh, please pay attention to this that you will get with time. This is a so great job. For example, in my work, I have a lot on my plate. Tengo mucho que hacer en mi trabajo. Spanish. Okay? Normally, it's going to be, I have a lot on my plate, on my plate at work. Mm, okay. okay? So, this is for you to have an idea. Whenever you are creating content, no matter what the structure is, independientemente de la estructura, normally, you're going to have subject, verb, complement. Okay, that's, that's how you create, normally. So van siempre con sujeto, verbo, complemento. Así como lo hemos hecho siempre. Obviamente pueden tener sus auxiliares. El sujeto, con sus auxiliares es necesario. El verbo, luego inmediatamente del verbo, ¿qué? ¿Comieron? ¿Qué comieron? ¿Fueron? ¿A dónde fueron? No como en español, con mi primo fuimos al cine ayer. Se entiende, pero sería... Mi primo y yo fuimos a donde al cine cuando ayer. All right, little by little we're gonna get that shit. Subject. Okay, sería my work or place at work. At work. Uh huh. And yeah, uh, some other things that we can fix, but don't worry. Take a photo of that and send it <laughs> to the group. Good job. Okay. Now we go with Deborah, Jose Antonio, and Rene. Eh, José, José Antonio, Pene. 
I have I been. read. Uh -huh. uh, a, B, C. Yes. You? Okay, A. Hey, I have been out since 4 a.m. and I just wait out and I am stressed out. Mm -hmm. I have been working a lot. I need to scale back one's hours in my job. My hours at work. My, my hours, hours uh -huh, at work. My hours at, at work. Good job with present perfect continuous. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh huh. Continue. Yeah, you to sit it down and you and you will Wait. see. But here, let me help you. You need to, or you have to settle down. You need, to. B, uh -huh. you need to settle down or you have to settle mm. down or you will get sick. Enfermarse, guys, is get sick. Get, get sick. sick. Uh -huh. Get. Get, get sick. sick. Get uh -huh. You have... Good job, yeah. nice. Continue. You need, uh, you have, uh, yes. yes, you look tired, but you have to hang in there because usually take around six months to find a good I job in the morning <laughs> is important. It's important, yeah. It's important. Uh, there with T-H-E, but yeah. Good job. Send a picture and send it to uh, take a picture and send it to the group. Good job, guys. And the last but not least okay. important, Carla Ivania, Hector, Jose Saúl, and Jocelyn. Go for it. Okay. I am getting stressed out because I have been working too much. I know that I need to run in dirt, but my boss is pushing me a lot. Mm -hmm. and I need to scale my hours at work. I am white town not just for work. Also, because I play soccer and I have been playing soccer, just to forget I have a lot of my life at work. Okay, good job. Fair enough. Picture to the group. Uh, so, guys, uh, remember this is remember that I said that my student have only one minute to create this. Yeah, but they are advanced, right? I didn't mention that they are advanced. They have been doing this for a long time. So relax. It's okay for this to be difficult because you don't have like a lot of vocabulary yet, but you will. So keep it up. I like the, the I like what you're doing. All righty. So let's get this done and let's continue. Any questions on how to use this guys? Mm. No? All right, everybody repeating with me, please. I will be able to. I will be, I will be, I will be able, able, able to. to. Bien fácil, me repiten eso, vea. Si o no que lo identifican un montón. Super fácil. ¿Cuántas veces lo decimos por clase? Una, por lo menos, vea. Una o dos, mínimo. ¿Cuántas veces lo hemos practicado? ¿Qué clase es esta? 16. Uh, seis. So, ya lo identifican super fácil. Expónganse el idioma, practíquenlo. Y así como ya pueden decir todos, I will be able to, y lo entienden y saben qué es, van a lograr hacer lo demás. Démosle. Tell about policies in my workplace. Tell about Tell policies about in my workplace. In my, in my workplace. I will be able to workplace. tell about policies in my workplace. I will be able, I will be to, able to, to tell about policies in my workplace. Do you know the policies at your workplace? Do you know the policies at your workplace? What are some of them? What are some, are some, some of them? Are some of them? Of them. them. Good job. Of them. Of them. What are mm. some of them? So let me share this with you real quick. And let's repeat it one more time. I will be able to tell about policies in my workplace. I, I will be able, able to, able to able tell about tell policies about in my workplace. In my workplace. That's right. So, what are we saying? What's the meaning of this? Mm -hmm. 
ser capaz de, de hablar acerca de, 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 de decir acerca, acerca de, las de las políticas de mi de lugar las de políticas de su lugar de trabajo. Very de lugar good. De trabajo. So, how do you say políticas? Policies. Hey Ada, what's up? Thank you for being here. You're welcome, welcome. Thank you. Good evening. All right. So, full house people. Good job. Like it. Okay, so how do you say um, politicas? Policies. 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 That's right. It doesn't mean policia. It means politicas, right? Rules of a company. So repeat after me, please. Do you know the policies at your workplace? Do you, Do you know, know, the know the policies at your workplace? Your workplace? Your workplace? So I have this question. This is an open question. Do you? Do you? Yeah. Do you? Do you? Así es. Um, cualquier cosa que les hayan dicho, guys. Right? Sí, les estoy preguntando. ¿Lo yeah. saben? Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Si yo les digo, por ejemplo, um, do you like pupusas? Y yo le pregunto a alguien más, do you? Le estoy preguntando lo yes, mismo. Que anteriormente. Mm -hmm. yeah. Entonces, si yo les pregunto, do you know the policies at your workplace? Y alguien me yes, contesta, I... yes, I do. Uh -huh. Yo le puedo contestar o preguntar a alguien más, do you? Ok. Ella mm -hmm. es la misma pregunta, ¿no? O sea... Mm -hmm. Lo mismo que fuera con Will. Will you go to the party? ¿Vas a ir a la fiesta? Y le pregunto a alguien más. Ya solo lo puedo decir. Will you? Sin necesidad de repetir la pregunta. ¿Está claro eso? Okay. Yes. Okay. So, are you happy? Y le pregunto a alguien más. Do you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Siempre es lo mismo. Si es con do, will con will. También sirve para hacer como... Y vos, pero con un poquito más de... How can I explain this? Um, también se puede hacer, guys, y esto no tiene nada que ver con las competencias, pero se los quiero compartir. Si alguien les dice, sos un gran aragán, you are very lazy. Y ustedes saben que esa persona también es una gran... No puedo decir la palabra. Eh, es la única que me puedo, creo yo. Perezosa. You are lazy. Y ustedes le pueden decir, are you? Y vos, como quien dice. Así que, always play with these type of details when you see it on TV, for example. It's going gonna, it's gonna to work. So repeat after me. What are some of them? What are some of them? What are some of them? Yes. What are some of them? We already covered, uh, should, we're going to continue working with it. But what are some of the um, policies at your company? Using should. You should. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the policies at your company? Mm -hmm. Use use a uh, uniform. You should wear a uniform. Wear uniform. Uh -huh. What else? Mm -hmm. I should pay my lunch on time. Oh, yep, you should take Thank your you. lunch on time. What else? Mm -hmm. I should get to work on time. <laughs> you should get to work on time. Uh -huh. Give me two more, please. You should... Um, you should... Use, uh, use, uh, wear a mask. Okay, you should wear a mask. Nice. And William, mm -hmm. I like that you're using negative. Can you I say you, you, you shouldn't you use can. telephone? You shouldn't use the phone, yeah. During working what? hours, right? During work working hours. hours. Uh -huh. I think, uh, William, you, you're I, still missing. I have a question. Tell me. Can I say you shouldn't lose your transportation or what is the correct way to say it? No perder el transporte. Miss. Miss. Okay. Uh -huh. Miss. Okay. Miss, guys, es también um, como que algo se ha perdido. Something is missing. No solo es extrañar, ¿no? I okay. miss you. Te extraño. But if you say Alejandro is missing, hola que no, creo que es 
Alejandro is missing, es que yo estoy desaparecido. Okay, so be careful with this. It has another meaning. Okay. All right. So go ahead and repeat after me, please. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. Hey, Max, look, hey, Max. I want look. to... I want to... Okay. One more time. <laughs> hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. Don't worry about it. How are you, Max? How are, How are you, Max? Max? How are you, Max? How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. Well, there are many policies, there are many in, my policies in my company. Everybody repeating, please. I see people without the camera. One more time. Come on, this is getting a trend. For example, employees <laughs> should wear a uniform always. For example, For example employees should be should wear uniform, uniform, uniform always. Uniform. always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. Well, well, well in my, my company, 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 you shouldn't be late. late. If you do this, you receive a warning. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Should you notify your superiors? Don't worry about it. It's fine. What? Yeah, one more time. Pay attention to this. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? No. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. I see. I see. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Another, another policy in my work is not using drugs. Not use. Don't worry. One more time. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. Nobody should be drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. We also we have, have that policy, policy, that policy work in my work too. 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 Work too. Work too. You shouldn't do it. You shouldn't, you shouldn't do, 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 it. do it. Yeah. Do it. I think so too. I, I think, think so too. Ada Susana Mendoza. Why no make no make no make don't worry. I wanted to trick people. To trick es como engañar. I wanted to trick people and nobody fall. Ah, okay. I'm gonna have your full name here. That means you're paying attention. Good job. Ana Maria Chiconde Garcia. Present. Cardivani Cabrera Serrano. Present. Deborah Raquel Soto Martinez. Present. Edson Andoni Guzmán Landa Verde, not present. Fátima Efigenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Enet Amaya Herrera. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes, not present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mosso Valdés. Present. Renal Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Thank you. Get your questions ready, remember. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Yes. Present. Sabrina Mabela Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Guys, Present. round of applause to you. Full house. 
thank you very much and congratulations for your dedication. Alrighty, let's get this done real quick. Let's do it again, guys. This time, repeat after me, please. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. Hey, Max, Max. Uh, look, look, I, I want, want to know what you have, 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 you have in your company. company. Your company. <laughs> Volunteer to read, please. Me and me. Okay, go, one of you. Just. Okay. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. There you go. Everybody, how are you, Max? Well, how there are, are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. How are you, Max? There are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Volunteer, please. Go, Ivania. How are you, Max? Well there, well, there are many policies in the company. For example, employees should wear, wear a uniform always. Good job, girl. Good job, good job. Nice. Everybody, well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you will receive a warning. Volunteer, please. Well. Oye, empezó de guaradele. Well. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do, if you do this, you receive a warning. Good job, good job, nice. Everybody, and should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Um, should you notify your superiors? Should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Do something wrong? Volunteer. Yes, you should. Dámelo pues, Carlitos. And you yes, you should. Yes, you should. <laughs> to ask the question. <laughs> <Repeat here. laughs> All right, this one right here, Carlos. Sorry. Uh, and should you notify? Oh, notify. Uh huh. Should you notify mm. your superiors? Superiors, if uh -huh. you do something wrong. 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 Ajá. Wrong, Good job. Wrong. Me gustó mucho la entonación para arriba. Muy bien, Uy. Carlos. Guys, déjeme darle un tip. Cuando va la WR, la W no se pronuncia. Wrong. Simplemente wrong. 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 How wrong. do you say escribir? Wrong. Right. 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 No se pronuncia. Right. Very good. Right. That's a grammar rule. Continue. Yes, you should. Yes, you yes, should. You should. <laughs> Come on, I need a volunteer for this. Uh huh. Yes, you should. Thank you, Hector. There you go. All right, let's continue. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. Volunteer. I see another police who have me work in the sea use drugs. Nobody should do drugs. Un poquito más suave. Drugs. Drugs. Good, good. 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 Oh. Everybody, we also have that policy in my work. Um, before we continue, um, I would either say we have that policy in my work too. Or we also have that policy in my work. We don't need both. Solo necesitamos una, porque es bien redundante en esto. Okay, so, okay. yeah, let's eliminate this one in the meantime. Volunteer to read that, please. Okay. We also have, we also have the policy in my work. Uh -huh. You shouldn't do it. Nice. And the last one, I think so too. I think so too. I think so too. I think so too. Good. Volunteer. 
I think so too. Nice, Jose. Okay, so um, let's do this, guys. I need your help with the translation because I can't remember a few things. Hey, Max. Max, look. I don't. Hey, Max. Max, Max give me a second. Give me a second. I got lost for a second. It's like, hey, Max, look. I want to know what policies you have in your country. Very good. Uh, hola, Max, porque el hey es un poquito informal, por cierto. La gente está más acostumbrada al hi. Si no le dice hey, es como que y este. So, hola, Max, mira, quiero saber qué políticas tienen en tu compañía. Quiero saber acerca de las políticas que tienen en tu compañía. No tiene que ser literal, sino que vaya con el contexto. Let's continue. How are you, Max? ¿Cómo estás, Max? ¿Cómo estás, Max? ¿Cómo estás? Well, there are many policies in my company. Hay muchas políticas. Bueno, eh, hay muchas políticas en, hay muchas en, mi, políticas en mi empresa o compañía. compañía. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, Por ejemplo, y ya vimos el there is, there are, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Vamos a un informe. Okay. For example, employees should Por ejemplo, wear los empleados deben usar, deben usar, usar uniforme. uniforme. Siempre. 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 Deben. Deben. Deberían. Deberían. Este, deberían. 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 Yeah. That's right. Por ejemplo, los empleados deberían, deberían usar uniforme. Portar, en este caso, uniforme siempre. Siempre. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. Bueno, en mi compañía, tú no deberías estar tarde o llegar tarde. No deberías llegar tarde. Dice, ¿y por qué aquí no es arrive? O, o, o ¿por qué be? Si be late, así es. Sí. If you do this, you receive a warning. Si lo haces, recibes una advertencia. Si lo haces, recibes una advertencia. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Y deberías notificar a tus superiores si haces algo malo. Si algo malo. Ajá. ¿Deberían, guys? Sí, deberíamos. Sí, deberías. ¿Do you? No. Ajá, vean. Honesty. Good, I like it. Continue. Yes, you should. Yes. Sí. Sí, deberías. Sí o sí deberías. Acuérdense, guys, si las preguntas de yes, no, question, si le, generalmente, vea. Si les preguntan con should, contestan con should. Si les preguntan con do, yes, you do. Y esta agua de la did? botella celeste está limpia. No. ¿Eh? Yes, no. 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 Okay, no. pay attention. Don't pay attention no, to the water. Yes, right? it's clean. So, yes, you should. Yes, you do. Yes, you did. Yes, you will. La misma estructura. Con el auxiliar que les pregunten, no se contesta. Easy. I see. Ya ya veo. Veo. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Ya veo. Eh, otra, otra, otra política, otra política que tenemos, en tenemos en mi trabajo es el uso de drogas. Uso de drogas. Nadie uso de... debería de, 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 de usar drogas. Ajá. Nadie debería de usar drogas. Nobody should do drugs. Okay. Um, guys, here, nobody. These are indefinite pronouns. Estos son pronombres indefinidos porque no sabemos quién. Si nadie. dicen nadie, nadie, vea. Si dicen todos, todos, pero no sabemos quién. Si dicen en cualquier lugar, no sabemos ¿Dónde? cuál. Son indefinidos. Entonces estos van seguidos de tercera persona. ¿Ok? Nobody, everybody, uh, somebody, todos esos van con nobody talks, nadie habla. Nobody does. Nadie hace. Nobody writes. Nadie escribe. Nobody Keep it in mind. Nobody, somebody, everybody. Todos esos van con tercera persona. Vayan anotando. Sáquense un par de ejemplos. Esto lo van a ver en intermedio, creo yo. Nobody. Continue. We also have that policy, that policy in my work. You shouldn't do it. Eh, nosotros tenemos también... Nosotros... Tenemos la política en mi trabajo. Nosotros también Ajá. tenemos esa política en nuestro trabajo. Nosotros también en tenemos mi trabajo. esa política en mi trabajo. Tú no deberías hacerlo. No deberías hacerlo. No deberías hacerlo. Uh -huh. 
I think uh, so too. Pienso. Yo pienso lo mismo. Yo pienso lo mismo. Yo pienso lo mismo. Mm -hmm. That's right. So let's do this real quick, guys. What is the structure of should? Structure. Adjunct. Should verb complement. Subject should verb base and complement. Affirmative statement. You should wear a helmet inside the factory. You should wear a helmet inside the factory. She should be on time every day. She should be on time every day. Negative statement. Employees should smoke, shouldn't. We shouldn't smoke in the facilities. Employees so you shouldn't you smoke in the facilities. In the facilities. In the facilities. Remember, employees, employees, you're going to find both pronunciations. We should not forget to wear the uniform. We should, we should, we should, not, should not, not forget, forget to wear the, to the, the, uniform. Wear the uniform. Guys, help me out. How do we make this negative? You, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Not, not you. After shouldn't. Shouldn't. You shouldn't. Wear a helmet inside the factory, right? I can see it. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And how do we make it a question? Should you? Should you? Should you? Should you? Wear a helmet inside the factory. And what is the answer? Yes, I should. Yes, I should. Yes, I should. Yes, I should. You. Está hablando de todos. Yes, you should. Or shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. Right? And... How do we say, ¿Por qué deberías usar un casco? Why, Why should you should wear, wear a helmet wear inside, the inside the factory? Why should you wear a helmet inside the factory? And how do we answer this type of question? Because. Because. because blah, blah, blah. Okay. For my work, my work. Yeah, because you can, you can more, give affirmative more or negative. Safety sentences. for me. Now, this is what I wanted to do, guys. I wanted to create questions well examples with this my schedule my schedule give me an example with my schedule please you should check your schedule at the beginning of your shift you should check you should just schedule for my schedule for the beginning and not my schedule. Shift. Deberías revisar tu horario al principio. My schedule, my schedule should be shorter. Mi horario debería ser más corto. Um, obviamente pueden cambiar el my por el your, por el his, etc. No, no, no. Tiene que ser. So, as you can see in the first example, I'm using it. Oops. Mm. Schedule, right? Schedule. You should check your schedule in schedule. the complement, my schedule as the subject. You schedule. can choose, it doesn't matter. So what you're schedule. gonna do with this guys is you're gonna create one, two, three, only four examples with, with these uh, complements. And you're gonna do the same Affirmative, negative, and question. Okay? So if I say, you should check your schedule before your shift. Start. Uh -huh. How do we make this negative? Uh, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Uh, no mismo. You shouldn't check your schedule before that. How do we make it a question? Should you check your schedule? Should you your check your schedule before your shift? What is the answer? Yes, I should. No, I shouldn't. No, I shouldn't. Very good. I now shouldn't. give me a WH question. Acá con el WH, guys, pueden jugar. Porque si ustedes, si ustedes quieren preguntar cuándo, solo le agregan esto. 
pero ya no le ponen esto, ¿verdad? Porque ya en la pregunta está la respuesta. Así que tengan cuidado con el complemento. Ok. Ok. Very good. So, one, two, three. I'm going to give you what? We're going to come back at 9.25. So, you got eight minutes for this. Right? Okay. Go for it. Work with the same. And we're going to share a few. Eight minutes. Okay. Teacher, mándame el grupo que le. Okay, give me a second. Don't, don't accept it yet. No lo acepto todavía, solo quiero que le aparezca. Okay, now you can accept it. Do you have it, Anne? Con esas, como los ejemplos, tenemos que hacer las oraciones. Okay, come on. Vaya, la primera, no sé si siempre vamos a usar my shudo. My schedule, yeah. My schedule. 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 Okay. Sí, es conforme al, al, al verbo que está aquí. Uh, we should, uh, we no should the organize, organize, my, organize. organize the schedule. The sh I, Schedule, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Qué? Schedule. Yo, 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 yo voy a apuntar porque a mí también es que, ¿Cómo es, teacher? Schedule. 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 Ahí es donde ustedes tienen que empezar a identificar los sonidos. Mira si lo pusiste igual. A ver, compáralo. Schedule. Schedule. Yo, yo lo puse schedule. Pero con Q. Sí, pero igual. Algo así. Schedule. Uh -huh. Yeah, es que. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Now, schedule. split it into syllables, dividido en sílabos, y yeah. ponerle el acento. Schedule. Para que no diga mañana es que yeah. yeah, es que. Schedule. Schedule. All right, keep it up. You got six minutes. You can do this. Okay. okay. Entonces. Uh -huh. ¿Ah? Que se lo va al inicio, el. El, el should. WH. Ajá. Ah, solo el should. Should you. Ajá, la yes, no. Should you. Do. The schedule. No, y solo puede ir. No, should you. Should you. Ajá, no, y además. Should you do the schedule? The schedule. Every day. Dress code. My dress code. Dress code. Mm -hmm. La otra sería guay, ¿verdad? La WH. Sí. Why, why should you the schedule every day? Uh -huh. Why should you check? If, if the verb is check. I do. Yeah, remember yeah, you need a verb. It's do, yeah. Good job. Why? What do you say? Can you repeat, please? Okay. Que... Podemos darle una respuesta si ustedes quieren. Bien. Entonces, um, let me check. Puede ser, because if, if I don't do it, it's going mm -hmm. to affect, affect, yeah, affect my adherence. Mm -hmm. Es como la, la adherencia en tu horario laboral. Right. Adherence. Adherence, yeah. Adherence o adherence. Creo que lo pronuncian diferente. 
No sé si se puede pronunciar diferente. I'm not sure. Ok, and ya tenemos, ya las tenemos todas, ¿verdad? De la primera. And then we need to move to dress code. Dress code. Eh, no sé si pueden ayudarme con esa. You should. You should, creo que es meet, meet. I don't remember if meet, we can use it to, to, to say it, uh, cumplir. Let me check. Sorry. What's the context? If I, if I could, if Sería... I would, if I would like to say it, I don't know if it's correct to say you should meet with the with the with the dress code. Comply. Or is that correct. Comply. Should be complied. Yeah, you should but comply. We can we can use the the other one. Met. Yeah. Met. Met. Meet. Pardon. Meet. Uh huh. But I would pardon recommend me. it to Have use comply. Comply. Mm -hmm. Like like this. Okay. Okay. You got like one minute. Really? Yes, keep track of time. Let me check. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Vamos por el tercero. Vamos al tercero. A ten trainees. Bueno, ni mono para tocar y pintarlo. Wear the uniform, nada más. Wearing. Wearing. The uniform. Vestiendo el uniforme. Usando el uniforme. Wearing. Y la antes de anterior a esa, ¿cuál era? ¿De qué? Antes de la. Should we. Esa es la pregunta. Should we respect the dress code? O sea, ¿deberíamos respetar el código de vestimenta de la compañía? Vestimenta. Ok. Es la pregunta. Es la misma, solo le vamos dando vuelta. Where in the uniform? Mm. Falta attend trainings. Eh, mm. He should, should attend training. Hello there. Are you guys ready? Teacher, is you should. Um, huh? You should wear my. My dress code in your company, in my company. Uh, okay, yes, but there's a verb you can use. What's the verb, Isela, in company? Well, I'm sorry, the verb for, for that to say example? wear clothes. Well, in that case, I think I understood something different. Uh, you want to say you should wear a uniform at work? Because I got confused with the question then. All right, don't worry. So she was she was talking about dress code, right? Uh huh. So in that case, it's gonna be comply. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Comply. All right, guys. I need a group for the first one. What's your example? Let's do this quick. Me. Go for it. I'm going to use the same one, but let me check. Um, okay, I already used the, you should check your schedule at the beginning of your shift. Yeah. And negative, you shouldn't, you shouldn't forget to check your schedule at the beginning of your shift. And the question why you should check your schedule at the beginning of your shift. The answer? Um, the answer is, is it is because if I don't do it, um, it's going to affect my adherence or adherence. I don't know what is your the adherence. Thing. Adherence. Adherence. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good job. I liked it. Um, let's go with number two, please. Anybody? 
Me teacher, Miguel. Go ahead, Miguel. Okay, uh, yes, no question. Should I follow a dress code? Yes. Okay, no Should break. I follow or comply with? Okay. Yeah. What's the answer to this? Uh, yes, I should. Okay. W H. Okay. W H. Why should I follow the rest code? Mm -hmm. Answer. Okay. Because the presentation is necessary in in a company. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Appearance. 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 Okay. So the appearance is necessary in the company. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, affirmative. Uh -huh. The companies uh, should use a dress code. Yes. Negative. And the girl should then follow a dress code. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Muy bien. La acabas de hacer. Very good. Me llega. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Next one. Attend training. Anybody? Uh, he, he should attend trainings. Attends. No, 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 why don't we use third person with should? Um, should. should is a moral verb. Because of the auxiliary, correct. The auxiliary. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. whenever you use modal verbs like should, have, uh, um, would, you do not use third person. Nos ocupa la tercera persona, a menos que sea simple present, solo ahí. Pero ya si le metemos un, un modal verb como este, ya no vale. Ok. So, tercera persona solo va con simple present. Very good. What's the negative for this one? He shouldn't attend trainings before. Yeah, he shouldn't attend trainings before 10 a.m. Very good. The question? Should he attend training before 10 a.m.? Good job. Answer? Uh, yes, he he should. No, he shouldn't. Good. W H. Uh, uh, sorry. Sorry, uh, pero es que podemos ocupar when, pero quitándole before ten ten a.m. Exactly. Y usar yes. la respuesta a eso. Yes. So, how do we ask? ¿A qué hora deberíamos de ir al training? What time mm -hmm. should he attend training? Yeah, what time should he attend training? Very good. Good job, like it. And the last one, sleeping work hours. Sleeping work hours. Uh, uh, we, we should avoid, avoid the sleeping work in work hours. Okay, very good. We should. We should avoid sleeping during work hours. Mm, okay. In work hours. Negative? Uh, during. We shouldn't avoid sleeping. During. We shouldn't uh, avoid. No deberían de evitar dormir durante el trabajo. Le da sueño, vergüenza, no hay problema. We shouldn't avoid. Um, how do we make it a yes, no question? Uh, should we? Uh -huh. Should, should we, we avoid, avoid sleeping? sleeping? Should we avoid sleeping during work hours? Yes. Answer? Yes, she... yes we should. No, Negative. we shouldn't. Very good. WH? Uh, why we... Why should we avoid sleeping during we, work hours? Why should we avoid sleeping we? during work hours? Okay. Very good. Very, very, very good. Now, what you're going to do right now, guys, is that you're going to discuss policies of your workplace, right? You're going to discuss them and you're going to say, for example, guys, 
um, we shouldn't wear a uniform because I prefer using my own clothes, right? So, van a dis uh, discutir las políticas de su empresa y van a decir lo que piensan, okay? We should, okay. we shouldn't. Simple as that. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Guys, it's okay. Si quitan la cámara es por algo. I do it sometimes, pero se está haciendo un patrón que no me gusta. Ha sido el primer módulo que tenemos problemas con la cámara. Todos los anteriores siempre la tienen encendida. Así que porfa, es un requerimiento de esa forma, no mío. Ok, vosos con eso. So let's go to the breakout rooms. This is free conversation. Don't write down anything. Escuchando Just talk about it. Okay? About company policies using should and shouldn't. We're going to work for 10 minutes. And when we come back, we're going to practice present perfect. Okay? Go for it. Should and shouldn't. Company policy. Um, Zane, who's your group? With us. Number. Five. Uh, five. 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 Okay. Five. Roberto, who's your group? Uh, number two. Two? Okay. Go for it, guys. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. Uh, yeah. um, in my work. Mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. I should. I should. <laughs> I, I should a real. I should a real. Um, in time. A tiempo. Así sería. Yo debería llegar a tiempo. ¿Cómo? Yo debería llegar a tiempo o llegar a la hora. I should arrive you in time. No, el teacher si puedo hacer una una frase, pero aquí ya no sé. Be on, be on time, algo así creo que dijo el teacher. Por ejemplo, I should be on time. Yo debería estar a tiempo o llegar a tiempo. Mm, be on time. Be on time. Uh -huh. Aquí está. Entonces mm -hmm. quedaría como I should be on time. Yeah. Yep. Just make sure you close the, the, the M. I should be on time. Okay. I should be on time. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm. Okay. I oh, yeah. should be on time. Okay. I should Remember, be on you time. Don't have to, you don't have to write down anything. It's not needed. This is a conversation and give oh. your opinion, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. No es que tengan que crear una conversación, sino tengan una ustedes. Hablen mm -hmm. de las políticas de su trabajo. Yeah. That's it. Okay, in All my right, company. Yeah. And the and uniform. 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 No jeans, only formal pants. In my, in my company, we should use jeans only Friday. I me, me too, me too. Only Friday, I should no. On a Friday, I I should wear jeans. Well, yeah. um, Catherine, what about you? Okay. Uh, uh, Long errands. My workplace, we should not 
er long errands, como aritos largos, ¿no sé? Solamente where. No, the no, verb no. is where. Mm -hmm. Where. Okay. We shouldn't wear yeah. aritos largos. I don't know how to say, like, big earrings, perhaps? Big earrings. Big or long earrings? Uh-huh. Mm, interesting. I didn't know that. Why? Why, Katari? Solamente cortos, no sé cómo sería. Only. Only. Only short. Uh -huh. Good, good, good. You see, that's what I'm talking about. Why? Because conversation between you. Don't worry about writing. Don't worry about creating a conversation. Just have a real one among yourselves. Keep on. I like it. Let me check what is the correct way. Of what? Um, huh? Correct way for what? About um, high to say tacones high high heels high high, high heels, heels. Mm -hmm. should be h e a l s, -E -L. Mm -hmm. which is talon high heel high heel mm -hmm. okay heel is talon high heels tacon alto let me check Oh, should be with double double E, right? Yep. Here. Yeah. Okay. So I already finished. I don't know if someone else wants to continue. Okay, medium. Medium. I think that that I don't know if they are having internet issues but I it, was talking with, with Sabrina. Yeah, it could be, uh, it could be. Because I was talking along. <laughs> now, remember that the idea was for you to have a conversation, get the others, the other person's opinion. Yeah, I was waiting for, for Sabrina, but but I think that she is having internet issues because she told me that for that reason, she doesn't have the camera on. Uh -huh. Yeah, it happens. Um, Miriam, are you here? But Miriam, I don't know. All um, right, she's so group, but I don't know. What I'm going to do then is that I'm going to change you girls of group. You know, I'm going to send, move you to another group. So you get- and What happened with, with the other guy, Jose, what is the name? Uh, I don't know. But let me send you to another to another group. Okay. So you can have time to participate this. Time. Okay. What is the name of the other guy? Ah, Roberto. There you go. Uh -huh, guys. What's up, are, you, are you communicating with your minds or? <laughs> no, acabamos de I no sabía ni que estaba Miriam. <laughs> I just sent her here. <laughs> no, ese Carlos no, nos estaba diciendo que que tienen que estar 10 minutos antes de su trabajo. Sandra nos está diciendo que deben portar mascarilla beautiful, en todos lados. Beautiful Spanish. How do you say that in English? Hey, come on, guys. You can do it. Carlos. Keep the, okay. Just don't create a conversation. Just have one. You know, talk like real people do. Right? And Miriam, don't worry. I understand you're having issues with the application. I got your message. Okay? So it's okay. All right, guys. Come on. I want to hear you participating. What's up? <laughs> Carlos, tell us hey, uh, some policies of your company. Uh, we should we should arrive ten minutes before the time. Uh -huh. Get to work. Get to work. Get yes. to work before ten minutes before. 
yes, but uh, we should get to work only five minutes early. No, no se podría usar mejor ahí. Bueno, no se, se, estaría bien así, teacher, o se puede ocupar just five minutes before. Yeah, five minutes uh, before the shift, yeah. Pero only or just? O sea, es que él dice que sí está bien, pero solo cinco minutos antes. De, él prefiere, o sea, él piensa que sería mejor solo cinco minutos, no diez. <laughs> yeah, in that case, uh, just five. Five minutes. Just five minutes. Five okay. Minutes. okay. Just five minutes. All right, good. That's conversation. Keep it up. Let me check two more groups and then we go back. No, pero no, no ha sido necesario. Ni no. zapato. Eso, pero... Solo Gina. Solo Gina. <laughs> no, es it, a money. Uh -huh. No, money. <laughs> no, money. No, money for my clocks. Money uh -huh. to buy me, the, the alcohol gel and yes. the mask no? and the vitamins. There is a there is a police yes. in my company. Mm -hmm. What what policies? In in I we should use mass wear 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 mass in in always. Yeah, we should always we should wear thick clothes, ladies. We should wear thick clothes, lady. No sé si lo dije bien. Vestir con ropa ajustada, la señorita. Uh, tight, tight clothes. Tight, tight, ah, tight clothes. Tight, tight clothes. como apretado, yeah. ajustado, tight. Ajá, apretado, ajustado. Yeah. We shouldn't, we shouldn't wear tight clothes, lady. Nice. Leggings. 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 Ajá, así lo pronuncio. Leggings. Leggings. Ah, he, here we said leggings, but they said leggings. Leggings, leggings. Yeah. Hey, hey, let's get this finished. Ala Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Aquí estoy, present. I got you. Ana María Chacón de García. Present, teacher. Carly Vane Cabrera Serrano. Present. Débora Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. Edson Andoni Guzmán Landa Verde, not present. Fatima Pejenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Renato Costa Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Héctor. Not present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Enet Amaya Herrera. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes, not present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Mira Carolina Mozo Valdés. Right. Por motivos de editorial se fue, la participante Mira Carolina Mozo Valdés está presente, pero estaba teniendo muchos problemas de internet y con la aplicación. Don Alfonso María Escalante. Present. Rina María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Saberna Mabel Edín Castro. Nuevamente, por motivos de auditoría en Sefort, la participante Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro ha estado presente y está presente, pero tiene problemas de conexión. Así que, present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Sandra. Not present. Teacher, teacher present, Sabrina. Sí, 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 sí. Teacher present, Miriam. Ok, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ya se las había valido, no worries. Sé que están teniendo problemas de internet y me lo notificaron. Um, Sandra Elisa de Osorto Romero. Sandrita. All right. Present. Gotcha. Thank you. No, no, no. It's okay. Thank you. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Ella Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Jocelyn Emelda Riego Sabarca. 
Um, I can't hear you, but I see you present, right? I see you moving your mouth, saying present. Okay, guys. So I wanted to talk to me about, just tell me about your policies, a policy you want to share about your company. Mm, and for example, we should eat in our house. We should? Uh, eat eat in or eat at our desk, my desk. You should or you shouldn't? No, should. Ah, okay, you should mm -hmm. eat on your desk, uh, should, okay. Uh, because of the pandemic. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Cada uno mantenemos de comer en nuestro escritorio para no tener que estar juntos en, en el área de, de cafetería o de cocina. How do you say all of that in English? No. <laughs> no, dice. Okay. Hey, this is okay, guys. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Um, okay. Acuérdense que la idea es que ustedes en algún momento de su vida puedan hablar no, en inglés. Quizás no a un nivel nativo porque nunca hemos vivido allá, no aprendemos así. Pero eso, que les salga la curiosidad. Right? A mí me preguntó una, una, una de mis estudiantes, me dice, teacher, ¿cómo se dice ponerse el cinturón? Buckle up or fasten your seatbelt. ¿Y cómo se dice quitárselo? Nunca me había hecho esa pregunta. ¿Cómo te quitas el cinturón? Me puse a pensar, sería unfasten your seatbelt. You know, lose your seatbelt, quítatelo. Pero si nosotros no nos exponemos a eso, ya nos va a costar bastante. Sean meques con el idioma. Alrighty, guys. So this is what we're going to do right now. I have a couple of questions for you. Okay, these questions are in the group. You're going to say... You have them as a base, but you can change them if you want. Have you ever seen a ghost? ¿Has visto un fantasma? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. If you want to say when, si quieren decir cuándo, qué pasó, ocupan simple past. ¿Ok? Para ser exactos en cuándo, simple past. Para decir que les ha pasado, present perfect. Um, have you ever lost your wallet or your purse? Have you ever fallen in love? ¿Se han enamorado? Have you ever danced reggaeton? Han bailado reggaeton. Have you ever visited a pulo? Have you ever been arrested? Have you ever been robbed? Si les han robado, vea. Have you ever shoplifted? Que si ustedes han, han llevado algo ahí del súper o de la gasolinera. Right? Um, have you, how many books have you read? ¿Cuántos libros has leído? How many couples have you had? ¿Cuántas parejas has tenido? How many, oficiales, vea. How many jobs have you had? <laughs> How many times have you gotten drunk? ¿Cuántas veces se han puesto bolenques? How many times have you gotten lost? ¿Cuántas veces se han perdido? How many times have you fallen in love? ¿Cuántas veces se han enamorado? Ah, so go ahead and work with these guys. Uh, conversation, just have a conversation. Don't create anything. Give your opinion. Go for it. Go, go, go. Practice present perfect. Sabrina, who's your group? Sabri? Hola. Who's your group? Isela. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, you girls were having internet issues, so I moved Isela to another group and I moved Miriam to another. So you're going to go to a new group, okay? Okay. All right. Go for it. <laughs> How many sleeping class Deborah? <laughs> Every day. Bye. How many I'll be right back. Go ahead and practice the questions, guys. That's the purpose okay. of this. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, no me griten. Go ahead, <laughs> practice. <laughs> Okay. How many um, do how many visit the the um, El Pital? How many times have you visited? How many times I, I visited them uh, three three times? Oh. 
I have never visited Korea. I have visited. No, I have I have visited. Come on. I have. Puede decir I have never. I have never visited. I have never visited. If you have visited, please sign. Uh -huh. Once, twice, One time. three times. Once, mm -hmm. One time. Mm -hmm. By other. Mm. Have you shoplift? Uh, no sé when you steal something from the supermarket, Shop gas station, etc., grocery store. Uh -huh. <laughs> Have you ever uh, have you ever chop? ¿Cómo se pronuncia esto? Shoplifted. 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 For legal for legal purposes, I'm gonna go to another group so you can answer that question freely, okay? Okay. Times. A little, little time. A little time. Little bit time. And you, Alfonso? <laughs> um, Have yes. you ever fallen in love? <laughs> yes, just one. And I don't want to be falling in love anymore. I don't believe I don't you. Know. Believe you. I don't believe you. Believe me. <laughs> no, no, no. Move to another, to another question. Uh, don't, don't cry, girls. Come on. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> going to be fine. Why not? Okay, let me check. And Have you, you go, Isabella? I already love. respond. Oh, I, I, love. I, I always in love every single day for a different guy. What? You already know, Jocelyn. Yo pienso que me every enamoro. Time, no? Ajá, uh -huh, ajá. Uh -huh. I think, I think, ajá, uh -huh, falling in love all time. O sea, hay, un, hay una etapa que se llama enamoramiento y esa creo que todos la vivimos siempre que salimos con alguien. Okay, okay. Um, Fátima, have you, have you ever fallen in love? Yes. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Long time. Okay. And you, Rina? Yes, I have. Ah. Tell me more. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and you, Enjoy. Ever. Yes, I have many times. And uh, the women are very bad with me. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are back. Um, I want to volunteer to answer a question. You choose the question and you choose the answer. Volunteer. You choose the question, you choose the answer. Go ahead. 
All right, somebody can ask me one of those. I'm gonna break Deborah. it. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Deborah, have you visited the, the El Pital? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I have. I, I've been there uh, three times. Nice. I have been there three times. Very good. When was the last time, Deborah? Uh, it was... Uh, in 2020. So last year. <laughs> yes, last year. <laughs> okay, Good. thank you very much. Um, okay, Any, thank you. Good job. Anybody else that wants to, you know, answer one of the questions? No todas, Hey, come on, guys. Ni siquiera los estoy poniendo contra la pared de sacar de yo la pregunta incómoda. Uh -huh. Escogiendo ustedes la pregunta. Uh -huh. Come on. Ok. <risa> um, me, Sabrina. Go, Sabri. I'm going to ask to Ana. Okay. ok. Have you ever danced reggaeton? <risa> yes. Yes, I am. Yo <risa> sabía, sabía que eso me iba a preguntar. Yes, I have. Dice, yes, I have. Yes. No, yes, I have dance, uh -huh. uh, dance reggaeton. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, always when I am cleaning my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Okay. <laughs> good job, guys. Hey, listen up. I really hope you have liked uh, uh, this topic. Present perfect is one of the best topics to have conversation. Okay, practice it because it's a very, very good topic for you to have fun with your classmates. All right. So um, thank you very much, everybody. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to cover. In a second, let me check real quick so you can get ready. As soon as my internet loads. Teacher. Could. What is... Uh, no, no, I don't understand what is gotten drunk or gotten lost. Gotten drunk, ponerse a pichinga. Gotten oh, lost, okay. perderse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, guys. Never. 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 Mm -hmm. I believe you. All right. Yeah. Tomorrow oh, we're going to be working. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I have never gotten yes, drunk. Sister, yes, sister. I have. <laughs> Hey, listen up. Tomorrow we're going to be working with could, okay? Podrías. You could. You can use it to give recommendations. So look into that topic because we're going to be giving recommendations for everybody. All right? For everybody and everything. Thank you very much. I'm going to stay with Ben Alfonso and the rest of you. Get out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. 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 All righty, um, give me a second. Oh, teacher. Okay. Dígalo. Ahí está. Bueno, primero, disculparme que la semana pasada sí estuvo muy ocupado, teacher. <laughs> no worries, yo entiendo. E y, y al contrario, nada de disculpas. Gracias por la comunicación, porque me dejó saber en todo momento qué estaba pasando y aún así hizo lo que pudo por, por siempre conectarse, estar pendiente hacer la plataforma, así que muy bien, escucha. Sí, ya, ya me puse el día con él. Nada, disculpa, yo entiendo, entiendo. Sí, estaba en un torneo y no estaba aquí en el país, entonces andaba afuera. Y más que los partidos a la hora, cabal. De, Ajá, ya, de la no, clase. Pues. ¿A dónde andaba? ¿En qué país andaba? Aquí, en Guatemala. Ok, well, very good, nice, good, good. All right, Bye. dígalo, what can I do for you? Es de los de la clase más que todo, no sé si fue la del jueves o la del viernes, que me Ajá. estuvo poniendo atención, de los modismos. Ok. Y a ver si me explicaba eso, porque en la clase de ayer me sentí perdido también, porque con los modismos sí, tuvo que ver con la clase del viernes también, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Sí. Porque estaba viendo que, porque leí el, 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 el manual, 
-huh. y vi que estaban los modismos y como que tiene otro significado algunas cosas cuando los traduzco. Entonces ahí es donde siento que cabal, precisamente. <risa> cabal, ay no. Vaya, eh, los modismos prácticamente, así como usted lo dijo, significan algo diferente a lo que es literal. ¿Ok? A, a como se lee literalmente. Por ejemplo, así que hace dog es como estoy tan enfermo como un perro, pero la verdad significa solo es estar enfermo. ¿Ok? Y este uh -huh. generalmente va con el verbo to be. Porque es estoy, ¿verdad? Estoy tan enfermo como un perro. I am a sick as a dog. Uh -huh. Entonces, se podría decir a sick as a dog, pero I am a sick. As sick as. As sick Man. as. Uh -huh. Ajá. Entonces es uh -huh. as sick as, es un, se llaman dobles comparativos. El as, as. ¿Ya? Entonces estoy prácticamente. ¿Tiene hermanos usted? Sí. Sí. <ríe> bueno, o sea, sí. hermano. Sí. Y él es. ¿Usted, usted lo considera que él es este, feliz? Sí. ¿Y usted? También. Vaya, ahí está. Los dos están comparando en algo, ¿no? En la felicidad. Ajá. I'm as happy as my brother. Yo soy tan feliz como mi hermano. Entonces, obviamente, el as as viene más adelante porque es un doble comparativo, pero para que usted entienda el concepto. Okay. Yo estoy tan feliz como mi hermano. Si los dos estuvieran mm. enfermos y estuvieran igual, de hecho, leña, ¿cómo fuera? Um, I am as sick as my brother. Ajá. Pero en este contexto en, part contexto en particular, ¿verdad? Esto no es un idioma. Sí. Liter Esto sí es literal. Estoy tan enfermo como mi hermano. Mm -hmm. eh, yeah. ¿Quién es? Soy tan alto como mi hermano. ¿verdad? Están haciendo una doble comparativa. Mm -hmm. Eso para que entienda el as, as. Pero nuevamente, así que a dog, así va la expresión. ¿Qué? Pero, ¿y en, ¿y en qué contexto se puede decir o sea, así que a dog? Cuando usted quiera... O sea, así como me lo está pensando usted ahorita. Sí, ajá, cuando usted quiera decir que está enfermo. Este va aquí, uh -huh. mire. To be very sick. To be very sick. Entonces, aquí uno tiene que poner, vale, por ejemplo, uh, es que no quiero ocupar COVID porque es muy, muy grosero ese ejemplo. Um, puede decir, no sé, este, my brother has diarrhea. Mi hermano tiene diarrea, ese es el contexto, ¿no? He is a sick as a dog. Ajá. He is uh -huh. as sick uh -huh. as a dog. Uh -huh. yeah. Entonces, ¿Y, ¿cómo? Y, y eso es bien común que, 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 que lo dicen allá. O sea, que te decir, aparte de, de decir que mi mamá tiene diarrea, <risa> es común que así lo pronuncie. ¿Diarrea? Uh -huh. ¿O cómo? I got lost. Es común decirlo. O sea, ahí en Estados Unidos, ¿no? O sea, la gente que habla inglés. Así como acá, por ejemplo, um, hay uno. Voy a cambiarlos porque estos, don Alfonso, hay que saber qué son, o sea, ver la explicación para saber cómo ocuparlos, ¿no? Ajá, eso. Ahí. Dígame algo que usted considera demasiado caro. Que aunque tuviera el pisto, no lo compra. Hay un carro del año. Ok. Un carro del año cuesta un ojo de la cara, ¿no? Sí. Y usted cree que va al, al dealer, así se llama, el dealer. Eh, Ajá. Y le tiene, ¿cuánto vale? Un ojo de la cara, espéreme, pues lo voy a dar. Mm. No va, es el tío figurado. No es que se va a sacar un ojo, sí. vaya, le pagué, ya me voy tuerto, pero con un carro nuevo. Uh -huh. Entonces, es, eso sería, por ejemplo, this car, o por ejemplo, a brand new car costs, An arm and a leg. Ese es el equivalente en, los, eh, en, en inglés, no en los Estados Unidos, en inglés, de que es caro. 
Entonces, cuesta un brazo y una pierna. Entonces, obviamente, ¿por qué? Porque estamos hablando del mismo contexto, nos lleva un vehículo del año. Entonces, ahí dependiendo, este, a new car, cost, an arm and a leg. Como en, esto sí es como en el español, usted tiene que entender este, el significado para poder adaptarlo al contexto. Sí, ajá, eso estoy viendo. Sí, como estaba viendo el take it easy, que eso hasta aquí lo ocupamos. Ajá, exacto. Take it easy es este, así, usted ve, un, no sé, un, su par de compañeros dándose duro, hey, take it easy. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Take it easy. Entonces, uh -huh. a veces no es necesario ni siquiera conjugarlo, porque se puede ocupar uh -huh. como imperativo. Este se está ocupando como orden, como imperativo. Uh -huh. Right? So, sí hay que memorizarlos, sí hay que practicarlos, y es sí, lo que eso yo estaba les... viendo que... uh -huh. Perdón, eso es lo que estaba viendo, que tendría como más memorizarlos para ya saber, aparte de la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Memorizarlos para saber, o sea, ocupar ese contexto de un solo y no estar como pensando qué decir. Exactamente. Vale, por ejemplo, uh -huh. no se lo puedo eh, enseñar acá, pero por ejemplo, ahí en internet usted puede poner eh, Idioms Dictionary, por ejemplo. No sé qué le va a salir, no sé qué link le va a poner. Idioms, porque así se llama. Idioms Dictionary. Um, y ahí le pueden salir. Entonces, generalmente en internet usted va a ver el idioma y se lo van a poner en contexto con un par de gente. Entonces, ahí es más fácil que usted le haya. Porque vaya, eh, digamos, calling sick. Eso significa... Eh, reportarse enfermo al trabajo que no va a llegar sí. entonces en qué contexto lo podemos ocupar sería de, de aquí mismo eh, sí o sea qué contexto usted me tiene al call en sí me, no sé sería como que si usted ya sabe que es reportarse enfermo al trabajo ah. y no ir. Sí. Como te found the office to say you are sick. Yes, no. exactly. Found the office to, to call in sí. sick. Ah, call en vez de decir, y aquí esto es exactamente, en vez de poner como de otra manera, you need to call the office to say you are sick. ¿Ya? En vez de decir todo eso, podemos decir You need to call in sick. You need to call in sick. O simplemente, okay. si, vamos a dar, si vamos a ocupar un imperativo, call in sick. Eso significa okay. llama y dile que estás enfermo que no va a ir a trabajar. En estas poquitas palabras. Um, ok. Right? Um, por ejemplo, usted que es atleta y, y que le da clase también a atletas que entrena, este le sirve uh -huh. bastante. Tip top shape. Sí. Que sí. es como estar en una buena condición, vea. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sí, ya, ya la había escuchado. Es que Bien. incluso a veces eh, escucho capacitaciones en inglés. Uh -huh. Me pierdo. Ocupan <risa> esa, esa palabra. <risa> Exacto. Entonces, dependiendo sí. de su contexto, usted puede ocupar diferentes idioms. Hay idioms como, por ejemplo, este, que aquí no tiene verbo. ¿Ya? Esto simplemente uh -huh. es como complemento. No es como calling sick, que aquí calling sick sí, sí tiene verbo. Entonces usted va a trabajar con el verbo. Y este verbo usted lo puede conjugar. Lo puede decir en pasado. Por ejemplo, I call sick when I have to, por ejemplo. Me reporto enfermo con cuando tengo que. I called in sick yesterday. Si se fija, estoy ocupando el call en pasado. Vea. Oh. I will call in sick. Entonces usted puede ocupar ese verbo que es llamar en cualquier tiempo gramatical. Como cualquier ejemplo. Sin embargo, este tip top shape no se puede. Porque no hay verbo. No, no, no hay verbo. Y Ajá. En cualquier tiempo se ocupa. Entonces. Exacto. Generalmente va, este va con el to be. I am in... Oh. 
tip top shape I am in tip top shape estoy en excelente condición física él está en buena condición física ¿Cómo lo dijeron? I am, I am in tip top shape y para él sí. está ah sí 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 no sí he is in tip shape he is in tip top shape muy bien nosotros estamos we 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 are in tip shape muy bien entonces ahí depende don Alfonso del idioma que usted esté ocupando si el idioma tiene verbo lo puede meter así como como en este contexto si el idioma no tiene verbo, va a necesitar otras cosas que depende del idioma. Ah, Como por ejemplo. Sí, ajá, ajá. Entonces, este también, under the weather, que es estar enfermo, va con el verbo to be. I am under the weather. Entonces sería de agarrarlas cada una, ¿sabes? ver qué significa. Y aprender aprendérselas y pues ver el contexto obviamente si yo que estoy todo panzón no voy a estar en tip top shape uh -huh. Ajá. sí sí porque también en la traducción no se las tira igual también no estaba exacto porque la estaba tra queriendo traducir y nada que ver uh -huh. um, ah. puede buscarlos puede buscarlos en internet idioms así se llama idioms ah, eso le iba a preguntar cómo se puede buscar en internet como idioms acá aquí está idioms Ahí le tira todas las... La... Ah, sí, sí. Acuérdese que yo le recomiendo buscar en inglés, pero usted puede buscar como quiera, don Alfonso. Uh, puede ponerle, por ejemplo, idioms ejemplos. Así de sencillo. Idioms ejemplos. O en inglés todo. Idioms examples. Y de ahí poco a poco irse los aprendiendo. Pero esos son idioms. Cuesta un ojo de la cara. Uh, no sé, no me acuerdo de otro. Me estoy muriendo del hambre. No es que de ah, verdad sí, esté sí. ya que vaya a patatearse. Ah, Eso no tiene, tiene hambre. You're very hungry. Así que eso, nada, donde solo hay que aprenderse. Ah. Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno, solamente eso era mí. All right, very good. Thank okay. you. Gracias por su compromiso Thank y a seguirle dando. Ahí nos vemos mañana. Ok. Have a good night, sir. Bye. Bye. Bye.